Hey you all, welcome to DT's Art. So uh, I am actually drawing a horse today. Um, so far as being graphite, I would, um, I've not done a graphite slow mo yet. So um, I thought I would do a slow mo of this horse. I've not drawn one for so long. Um, this eye is causing me a little bit of a problem at the minute. I don't think I've got proportions correct on it, so I'm struggling a little bit. I'm sure I've got the rest of it right. I'm hoping I have. Um, can still see my little bits of um, square matching, but there you go. Um, so yeah, um, I have been watching um, Netflix, but it's bloody boring me. I can't find anything suitable to watch on there at all. Um, one person is really doing my head in at the minute so um i thought if i come on and do a a live well not a live but a, <clears throat> a slow mo <laughs> uh it might take my mind off it a little bit um so yeah let's do it so, oh, yeah, I'm this high. <laughs> um, to basically just using a mechanical pencil now to um, find the um, lines. It's got a a white bit of showing. I've got to make sure that my time lapse is running at the same time because I keep forgetting when I'm doing um, like slow mo videos, I'm forgetting to do the time lapse at the same time. So, um, yeah, I need to keep remembering that. And I need to keep reminding myself to check that the microphone is working, which I hope it is. I hope you can all hear what I'm doing, what I'm saying. Um, just put some of these lines in. I'm pretty sure it stays dark up here. And then... There's another line inside here. And then this is dark. And then, um, there's a light there. And there's a light bit, a white. Real light white, but that carries on. <coughs> so, just mm -hmm. it's, it's like I always say, you've got to get these bits correct, otherwise, the whole drawing just goes completely off. Sure, there's a dark bit in there, and then. Look, this bit's throwing me. There's a dark bit here. I'm sure there is. And like a, a light. <coughs> Can you hear Pap snoring his head off?
and then <clears throat> that I want to cut my colorless blender, sharpen it with a sharp point so I can like sort of blend this pencil out without pressing down on the paper because <coughs> as in color you still don't want to lose the tooth of that paper but I can sort of like shade it in by blending it out with the colorless blender <coughs> Same with this bit up here. Blend it out. I'm not going to do the whole horse. Bye. <clears throat> Maybe just show you how to draw. The horse's eye. Maybe I'll um, really zoom in so you can see the eye, just the eye. Yet yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I think that's what I'll do. Oh, totally. Let's see. Oh, no, that's the focus. <laughs> we don't want that. We want to zoom. Why isn't it not working? Oh, that zoomed right out. We need it to zoom right in. Um, it doesn't look like it will zoom any further. Oh, that's tilt. Compensation of preferences. Basic. Um. Oh God. Why won't he zoom in anymore? I don't understand. Uh, zoom. It'll zoom right out. But it won't zoom right in. It's like I need to bring the actual camera closer. But I can't do that because it's like cell taped. <laughs> So, uh, well, it's just going to have to be like it is, I'm afraid. Um, we'll have to have a look at that. Should be able to zoom in. Um, we're also getting a shadow of my pencil, which we shouldn't be getting. Anyway, I'm going to do it anyway. You can watch me do it. So yeah, using this colourless blender to blend everything that I've just put down in where I know I can. <clears throat> Don't want any harsh lines. Also leaving parts that are supposed to be cut white, white. By now I have got graphite on the tip of my blender, so it's helping me to blend. 
by having that graphite on the end. Uh, that needs to be more. Um, I'm going to use a 2H to bring this in. It's dark right underneath that bit but not as dark as I have it there so I need to bring some of this out <coughs> it's dark under there Going back over where I blended with this just with this, just with the two H just to bring these bits that are supposed to be darker back out. Oh, I just wish the world could be a happy place. <clears throat> I wish everybody could just get along. Thumbs up there. And then it's a little bit darker in there. And there's definitely a dark piece inside here. And above this bit here is dark. <coughs> I'm just going to find my 2H pencil, pencil, actual pencil, and fill this in very, very lightly. With this 2H extremely lightly. <coughs> Cut it not there, not a very dark eye to begin with. So they be small high. So that sort of like <coughs> goes up into this bit. And there's like a line coming down from this and across of that bit. And I'm going to get my little blender. It's just a normal um, blending stump. I'm going to blend really lightly. Let's call it back. where it's meant to be I apologise if you can hear my stomach rumbling <laughs> not even that hungry to be fair it is wrong, Willen. Mm. 
to vent this out as well while I'm here. I may as well blend that out while I'm here and then blend this out. Not pressing down, just just slightly blending it out. So there's no obvious edges. Don't put in an, don't put in an obvious edge unless there is actually an obvious edge there. <laughs> <clears throat> now I'm going to use my 4B pencil. So I can I need a quick sharpen. Um, it's almost like this is actually um, <clears throat> eyelashes. And they do carry on up here. For some reason it travels down there. And then up and around again. Maybe in that bit light. Coming back around again. Pressing a tiny bit harder now. I was actually watching a program on Netflix and I just stopped. That was, that was it, no more episodes. It's like, what? Can you just end it there? I was like so miffed. So yeah, if I stuff it, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna listen to anything. I'm just I'll just do a a broadcast. <laughs> Bring in some back of the lines back in with this pencil. And then I'm going to get my blender again and blend again. Make sure there's no harsh lines. <coughs> Then I'm going to get my rubber, my uh, Tombow Mono Eraser. And bring out where I think needs to be brought back out. Like up here, there's like a line going down there, that's not as dark. in there. It's not as dark. Oh. And now it's not as dark either. Nor is it in there. my 2H again
anybody watch YouTube videos and then blow on the papers they're watching them because I do when I'm watching someone else draw I always blow on the paper <laughs> well I blow on my screen that I am um, watching it on Um, can you remember better because that comes out of her player? It actually comes in around here. And then back out. For some reason it's like a, a square bit. So a bit underneath. That is dark as well, so it's like comes around in a circle. I'm gonna get like four B. God, I wish I was a dog. They sound so content. <laughs> Sleeping. Right, well, the HP, I'm going to bring this out a bit now. I always do horses fur in, like, small circular motions <clears throat> because it's not like really fur as such there's no like stroke to it so it's not it's certainly keeping me um Entertained this one. There's a lot of differences in variation in their tones and stuff. Um, like <coughs> I'll go back to my. I'm gonna use two B. Bring this out to you. Uh, I hope. Take the risk. Take the risk, Monday. You're doing the right thing. That is a bit quick. Dark that bit, so also, I was uh, 
like eyebrow coming around which sort of joins onto this but in the um, dark contours so I need to keep them dark just like I need to keep I think I can use my blender now to blend this out into here. this horse so I can actually show you what I'm drawing at the same time I think <laughs> see if we can and it sort of put that there I won't be working from that that's just for your benefit <laughs> Stays white. Might have to go over that with my um, white tool. And find my 2H again now and bring that back through here. Darken that line back up. attached to there and keep this There is quite dark, so I'm gonna. I don't like putting my black light stick through a shirt, but for some reason I just don't like doing it. <laughs> but um, here it is quite dark, so I'm gonna use a graphite stick for this bit here. sticks to get things done quicker but you have to be so careful where you're putting them I 
the plus for some reason we've got about this six this stick batter <laughs> no wonder the card sticks there's a white dot there i'm not sure if that's meant to be there but it's there on the picture so it's going into the portrait i draw what i see that's basically it just draw what you see i'm gonna get my huge blender <laughs> Really, 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 really lightly blend that out. Barely, barely touching that paper. Barely touching it at all. Bring that graphite over as much as I possibly can with this blender. lines up here just sort of blending them out into the paper without pressing down because he's quite dark up top but then he's more HP further down I will outline these um, saddle whatever they call them so that I know that that's in I hate doing these bits because there's always two lines and they're so close together <laughs> See what I mean about the graphite stick? It doesn't really get in to the pores of the paper, but it does stick to them. So I like to use a hard, a hard pencil. I barely use any mark at all to get that graphite stick down into the paper. And then I'm going to bring this H all the way across. It's quite dark here. Bring his eyebrow back in. He's got a white line on the front of his head. Is it her? Again, I don't know the sex nor the name of this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful horses. I absolutely adore them. When I was little, I used to always stand at the window and shout, GG, <laughs> when the horse went past. Never forget saying that. I always shouted, Gigi! Mama, Gigi! <laughs> oh, 
Do you like my new um, hand glove protector? <laughs> Pretty, isn't it? <laughs> got some new ones yesterday. Um, I got um, given some money off a friend. Um, lovely Cynthia! Uh, three of my friends actually gave me some money to get some supplies, some new supplies. And oh bless, her, I couldn't accept. I, I don't, I don't know why. I just, it just my pride was hurt. <laughs> so I had to send it back. But bloody Cynthia, she's a wreck bugger. She is. She refunded it again, so she wouldn't accept it back. So yeah, I bought some new um, protection gloves with it. <laughs> because I badly needed some. I've got loads, but I can't find them. They're like socks. They absolutely are just like socks. <laughs> I, I really want to use this on the side of the pencil. want to leave any obvious lines or stop lines so I'm going in like a circular motion it is a lot darker here but this is just my base layer You know, it feels so nice to be driving a horse. I can't tell you how nice it feels. I love drawing, especially like, <laughs> no offence to uh, Callum, it was just ordered the black cat drawing, and I did a really good job of it considering the quality of the reference photo I was working from. But uh, no offence, I don't like drawing black cats at all. And um, yeah, coming to this um, beautiful horse is just um, it's made my day. And it's the third day, and I don't have to go to see my Canada. Woo! <laughs> Not that I don't like her, it's just a pain in the bum because I have to stop like an hour before and well, an hour and a half before I get ready and then. Like, I have a walk or I get a taxi, depending on how anxious I am. Uh, I'm going to bring this, carry on bringing this down, I think. All the way till I get to the bottom. I was only supposed to be showing you the eye, wasn't I? Wasn't I? I, I wasn't I? A stop line. I don't want to, didn't want to, don't want to create a stop line. Quick, 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 get rid of it. Took, like, took my concentration away from what I was doing then. Thank 
just come in on this opposite way just a little bit here slightly maybe go over the top as well just to god don't play it yes please don't create a stop line Sounds like somebody's gone next door. Can always hear Misty barking when there's someone around. That says St. Bernard next door. There's two St. Bernards. Two St. Bernards and a staffy. Misty's quite noisy, very vocal. She likes to be heard. <laughs> I'm gonna get me light, a light brush now. It's just like a a makeup brush, but it's really light on the end. And tap off any excess graphite. So I don't have any. Usually a little bit on my clothes, but I'm wearing my best clothes today. Well, some of my best clothes today, so. really really want to get some dark in I'm <laughs> really desperate to get some of this really dark bit in and um, what have we got here we've got a 2b um come on get some of this under his get a little bit of this underneath his headrest underneath his is it called a sable or something uh, I can't, I don't know, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not clued up with horses, so, anyway, I'm just using a 2B and I'm going to bring in this dark bit, so, uh, I'm not going to go too dark at the minute because I don't want to start losing all the contrast from the rest of it, oh god, sure I sit so wrong in my chair, <laughs> But yeah, I want to get under, I want to get up to, I want to get up to and into this um, headpiece. <laughs> because it is quite dark up here from about fifth dot over so it's from about there it goes quite dark here there's a dark piece and then Yeah, um, <laughs> I know from this bit here as well, it's dark here too. I don't know if I've, um, I won't have uploaded my diary yet because I'm starting, doing the, starting to do a diary. Um, I'm going to do uh, like video diary of what I do every day and then upload it weekly so um, 
we can see what I have done every day all the time um, even if I don't do anything at all Otherwise, I'm just gonna upload the diary because it seems that way that a lot of artists are doing that at the minute on YouTube so and uh, maybe you might get noticed a bit more I don't know I need some ideas to get noticed on bloody YouTube and all that <laughs> Where is my YouTube followers? I need some YouTube followers. Probably not getting anything because I'm a dork. Like acting like that for a start. Putting the wrong, too much colour over that dot. Don't even know what that is. What is it? And then it comes around like that into there, and that's dark. And then um, from it's probably no dark here, and a bit dark down there, and then from about here. How many dots are over? One, two, three, four, five, six. The end of the sixth dot, so it's there. We start with a dark contrast. Yes, so I've not done that graphite, have I? I've uh, any slow more. So here you go. <laughs> Put some dark in there because that's dark up there. I'm gonna. Ah! <laughs> Shoot! Shoot! I said them. By the way. Just ran away then for a moment and back. <laughs> right, I'm gonna come back and blend this dark out. Really lightly. This is really quite dark up here. So I'm actually, I think I'm going to actually um, use my light brush. This one is a flat head. It's actually got a flat head, and uh, I like this one for like it gets the graphite really deep into the uh, paper without flattening the tooth. In my view, a lot of artists out there will probably say that I'm wrong. But I find it works for me. So, uh, and I think it's a lot better than a blender. Ouch. Oh, I don't ask it in my chair wrong. Uh, so, yeah. And it's, that's not going deep enough into the fibre for me. Blending it all out into there. Gotta be really careful when you're using these rests at the edges as well because you don't want to go into your 
out of your lines. Let's bring that out a little bit and clean. If you're going into a lighter part of graphite, make sure you clean your brush. There's loads of detail in this bit. So I really want to get the um, underlayer quite deep. Ah, <laughs> I'm gonna find my I've got the jumbo HB so I'm gonna use this up there that goes around there and then it's sort of like darker coming down there and there's a dark light piece of dark there so it like goes around in it know sometimes I'm, <coughs> I'm actually listening to Spotify now through my earphones <coughs> on your daily mix sometimes they don't I choose you some crap at the minute they're playing me um seal with a kiss Jason Donovan why <laughs> would I choose that song I just wouldn't so why is that in my daily? Why is this in my daily mix? Seriously. All right. Anyway, back to the job in hand. Like I said, I'm not sure I'm going to upload all this. I don't know if I can. Be bothered with the timing it's going to take to edit how all the vid video videoing. I might do, I might just put it all together and just do it. Put in a little bit of um, like dotty sort of it, dot sort of like lines here. Because you can sort of tell it's more fur. Oh god, sorry, my wrist is so sore. It's really red as well. Don't know if you can see it on there, but it's gone it's so red. Can you see it? And then don't know why it's gone like that. I've got to wait for a it's apparently it's a decavertin sonsidadivitis and um, I guess sometimes when I move it the wrong way oh my god I could scream oh, I do scream <laughs> I sound like a monkey <laughs> that's a bit like when my Ollie Joe when he's playing he sounds a bit like a monkey when he's playing <laughs> Um, I've just sent a picture of that to my husband and my wrist and I bet you any money he tells you to ring 111 and I'm not doing it because um, they'll just say you're going to have to wait for your appointment 
to sell this but it's pointless basically I'm just gonna have to put up with it it's one of them in it put up shut up it could have to do with having a bandage on because I've had a bandage on for a week or so and I've just decided today to not have one on and just see how it goes just to basically stop me moving my thumb too far out because if I had to move my thumb the wrong way it really really hurts and I'm sorry I know this isn't um, Dr. Dr. YouTube and you're not interested in my um, ailments <laughs> but anyway just what I you you don't know anyway <laughs> I'm not even going to bother going into that bit yet because I don't know what's going on I think I think it's dark up here I'm not pressing hard even though if you can hear the sound of the pencil on the paper I'm not pressing hard looks like it's gone dark over around that area I don't want it to but it hasn't it just looks like it has it must just be shadow I might just put this bit actually on today, I might just do today's and upload it to YouTube and you can let me know below if you enjoyed it and you want me to upload a full graphite one because um, the ones I did of the colours are not getting any attention so it's a bit, <laughs> it's a bit pointless if nobody's interested so if you could let me know in the comments below if you do want me to do some full um, graphite them that would be great I will do then so um yeah I'll just do this bit I'll just do another hour how long have we done now we've done an hour an hour so far now so I'll do another hour with you and then probably get this block done here <laughs> well not done but the first layer down anyway it's done take as long to do graphite portrait it says it does um, colour but um, you've still got to take the time and plan it and everything in your head what you're doing and where you're going and what you're going to put down first and what's going to go down first and what pencil you're going to use what grade you're going to use um, first of all what paper you're going to use that is the first and very most important thing you've got to choose what paper you're going to use I use, um, do you know, um, Strathmore Bristol Board. Um, I currently use that um, with expenses. I'm not sure how long I'm going to be able to keep using that because it's quite expensive. So um, at the moment, I'm using it. I think it is the best for um, graphite. So you can't even see that, can you? Put it in a little bit further. Had you pause you there for a minute because my husband rang me. Ow! Rang me. So. Oh, for God's sake. Seriously. I'll just put some of these. Um, 
marks in where I think they will be. The horse's fur is sort of like smooth, so you've got to make it look like that as well. brush just to blend that back a bit and smooth it all out a little bit only because he's a horse and I want him to look smooth Bigger is always better. <laughs> oh, that's made me giggle. <clears throat> right, um, this is a HB stick again. I'm going to come in with this. This is basically the same as what I used on this side of it. So I'm going to come in again with this, that at this side. circular motions because you don't want any stop starting night motion even though after this after I have done this I am going to be going over this with a uh, um, I think I'm actually going to stop that there and brush it back a bit doing that I'm stopping there because there's dark bits coming in again under here so I'm gonna have to start using my 4B again Take it right down under here. 
I do love my 4B mechanical pencil. It's like pen because it's so dark. But yeah, I don't know why, but I can always write neater as well with a pencil. My writing, my actual, you know, like handwriting is so much neater with a pencil. <laughs> I don't know why than it is with a pen. Oh, maybe I'm just better with a pencil. people are learning from watching I hope people do watch and learn something even if they only learn one thing from me I'm not you know it's a it's a bonus isn't it? and it's for free no offense to all you artists out there that are earning your money by um, learning people how to draw the real way the right way I mean I'm just like showing people how I do it not learning them how to draw so I'm not taking away from your jobs guys I know what I know you're making your living for doing that I'm making my living for just drawing but well I'm not even making a living I'm just drawing like the odd portrait even though it doesn't bring much money in at all so I wouldn't call it a living but um, I'm not actually learning people how to draw I'm just telling people how I do it and hoping that people pick up a few tips along the way. Everybody finds their own way of doing it anyway. We, we all find our own way of doing it. So anyway, um, I'm going to find a way to concentrate here. Marks in. I'll get my bare blender. Blend all that back. Blend all that in the eye out as well because even though it's darker than that, that's darker there than this here. 
sometimes I even use my blending stick just to dab like little dots on so it can sort of like make it look like fur as well and then soften it out with my brush <clears throat> by the time I'm an old lady there'll be loads of artists out there that are millions of times better than me and I'll admire each and every one because I know how much time and effort and stuff it's taken I admire each and every one now people think that well I think some people think that an artist can just sit down and just you know, get a pen get a pencil get a whatever get a paintbrush whatever you medium is I pick it up and do it right, it takes a lot of like emotional um, it takes a lot of emotional energy it really does to be able to like concentrate so hard for like eight hours non-stop or whatever sometimes I can sit down and then look up at the clock and I've been working for like four hours non-stop without even looking up from the paper staring at the piece of paper for that long without a break isn't good for you <laughs> it's not honestly um this is a I don't know if this is gonna I hope you, I don't know if this will sharpen in this I don't like these rubbers no against again Faber Castell, but I really don't like these rubbers at all. The the um, pencil ones, the perfection one. Um, I have no love for these at all, but they do sometimes come in handy. Like I'm gonna take that out there. And it's like uh, in around here somewhere. It's sort of like it goes up. Oops. And I'm gonna put some little marks in here. Clean the end of it a little better because I want to take this obvious edge out of the edge of this. <laughs> yeah, I was saying before, as it is really, um, it does take it out of you being an artist. <laughs> no offense, I guess my husband, bless his heart. He's got a really physical t job, a really, really physical job. He's a window cleaner and he cleans with them um, water poles, you know, jet wash like thing. But he has to lift this massive pole up against up to the windows and everything. And honestly, it's a really tough job and I get him. But I think he seems to think that my job is, uh, even though he says, and he says he understands that it's not, it's a, it's a hard work to explain now how hard a job being an artist is when you're not an artist they just don't understand people just think that I mean yeah we enjoy it and it's well most of the time <laughs> sometimes it can be really frustrating and it can really play on your mind it can keep you awake at night because you worry about whether you're going to be able to do a certain piece or you're constantly thinking about I'm just brushing this back again by the way with this soft brush you're constantly thinking about your next piece and if you're going to be able to get it right for your client and um, yeah um, it's not easy being an artist just like any other job it has its ups it has its downs 
I'm going to put that white dot in back in after because it's creating a nuisance at the minute. Uh oh. Have you seen the video to this song? You can get it in the song, get that. I know you don't feel me, you do this all again. Oh my, oh my god, I see you walking by. Your hand didn't mind me in the eye. Like a monkey, I've been dancing my own life. Have you seen the video to that song? <laughs> it's hilarious. See to see to see to very die. I like I, my I, I like your style. Oh. It's like a fat bloke or something. Like dancing. <laughs> or trying to. It's funny. I saw it yesterday on uh, what I think it was YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, that is funny. Have a look. Can't think what the song's called. What's the song called if I was looking at me? What did it? Dance Monkey. Tones and I. Dance Monkey. Have a look. Look at the video. <laughs> it's funny. There you go, Dance Monkey. I have just advertised for you. Now I want cash, please. And lots of it. Thank you very much. It would be good if they did. Imagine that. Needs a thousand pound into your bank account for uh, mentioning us on your YouTube video. <laughs> Maybe that's why YouTube won't like our stuff like that. Dance me, dance me, dance me. Anybody do that thing? You do I don't know why I've got a picture next to me because I've folded it so you can't see this bit. But um, I'm just bringing his saddle in. His um, harness in. Harness, that's it. Pardon me. I'm going to blend that out now. No harsh edges. Dylan, if you're watching this now, you better use that bloody easel. Still not seen no work from you. Hmm. <laughs> Forty minutes left of this, and then I'm gonna let it go. I am gonna get now. I'm gonna get my black. Faber Castell Polychromo. Oh God, leave me alone. Um, and do the dark bits. I'll come down. The really dark bits that I know are definitely going to be dark. I'm going to go over them now with them with this black.
darken up a bit like their like, lashes are really dark comes down like that and up again and around careful because I've not sharpened my paper castell so I like <laughs> being dead there cagey with it so I have to be careful there Quite dark there. Still using this Faber Castell on the, just on the dark bits now. And um, yeah, I'm going to use my hair. It's just to. So I push that down into the grey. Because it's a hard pencil. And then break it out again.
it's really dark at that bit so I'm just building up my layers like really slowly um, I do like to use a brush that has barely got any um, I don't know if you can actually see it there's barely any um, I'm trying to put it in a place where you can see it <laughs> and bring it in focus oh, I should like something in front of a mirror there basically got any nibbles nibbles <laughs> nibbles <laughs> oh god <laughs> it's basically not got any brush on it <laughs> it's nibbles where did that come from <laughs> but um i like to use it to um circular motion and like squeeze that graphite into the paper uh, and it also like gives you a bit more tooth as well because it excuse me it, it um like sort of like ruffles the um paper up keeping your eye on your reference all the time that I cannot stress enough and you've got to keep your eye on the reference paper all being that you've got a good reference you should get a good drawing if you keep your eye on the reference portal and get all your um, if you really, 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 really want to learn how to draw properly and learn the five pencil method by uh, Darren, Darren, Daryl, he is absolutely, that's how I learn. He is amazing. Five pencil method, guys. Look at that on YouTube. There you go, Daryl. You can give me some money as well. <laughs> I'm going to hit the ace. If I've just got like loads of money coming through to my PayPal account. This is for advertising for me. This is for advertising for me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that will ever happen. Like I said, I'm not going to bother about that dot. it's really bugging me and it's just getting in my way so I'm going to put the dot in after blend all this out it's in the best some kind of shit now oh how you spend your time freeze in the best some kind of shit now Right, so I'm going to put a little bit more dark in here again now. And at the top, I'm going to use my 4B for this top bit. I'm not sure if you can see it. Yeah, you can on there. This is where the circle is. I'm going to put a circle in. How long it'll stay there, I don't know. That's where the dot is. <laughs> and it sort of like comes around there That's my husband asking about my wrist. I think he's a bit worried. But apart from that, 
apparently there's nothing more can be done other than this injection so I've got to wait just got to wait nothing more can be done I'm going to put some more dark in here Oh seriously Spotify, you're really really winding me up now that it Why are you choosing all this music for me? Listen to Westlife. Know where I am with them. up and about holly holla what are you doing only because you can hear misty next door it's too cold to go out there darling i'm not putting you outside they obviously don't care for their dogs like i do you're not going out there it's too cold Dogs are a lot bigger than you, so probably got a bit of feel cold like you. I'm going to blend that in as well now again. Sorry, I'm just singing. If you can hear me muttering, it's just I'm just singing. Um, that is dark. I'm gonna put that in as lines because it's fur. See I'm just slowly like building up the layers.
Manchester Fire. in this 4B because it's darker around here about here there's a line and then about here there's a line so it's like squared off there and the line there. Yeah, well, this one's as beautiful as good on it on when I've um, finished it. I'm sure it will be. I'm making it my mission to be, as always. <laughs> but basically, you see what it's it, what it is, and what it involves. It's just loads of layering, even with graphite. Don't go in with your black. Like I think it was black there, so I put black. Don't do that. <laughs> And don't press down with your pencils because once it's down, if you press down too hard, you will not get it off no matter how hard you rub. You won't get it off. You won't get that out of the paper. It is locked in there if you've pressed on. So, huge tips is them too. We're coming to the end of my... Um, basic part of a horse drawing like I said if you do want me to um, do some graphite whole graphite ones and not just like stop it like that if you like really enjoying watching me do this now when you was wishing that you're wishing that um there was a part two to this because there isn't i'm stopping here and i'm just gonna upload this now to youtube and if anybody's interested please comment below and subscribe and i will see what i can do about um drawing a horse for you again in real time fully <laughs> so yeah I'll just keep going for a little bit longer just keep putting your little bits in here and there where you can see them picked up my 2B again now coming to the side of his saddle because um, is a her sorry if it's a her oh, I hate doing that straight dead straight from that white dot on this side it starts getting darker there
Straight down from that light, white line in the eye there, there is also a white line here. So I'm going to put that in there. Huh? Must be some sort of reflection. Get all them little bits because we're honestly at the end, they all add to the actual final piece you need to get all you can't just make it look plain so and then I'm gonna blend that back with my stronger brush now Blend it all in. Even if you've gone over and used your boot rubber some places, still blend it. Still blend it in. Ow. Ouch. Still blend it in. And that's the first layer of that bit down on there. I'm actually just go in with my blender. Bring the dark in off the sable, saddle, whatever it's called. The Honest thing. Bring all the shadow in that I'll be up behind that. Always check for shadows. There. Right, well, I think I'm going to leave that there. Um, I know what I'm going to do next and everything. I'm just going to come in with my stipple brush, you know, the one without the bit of brush at the end. I'm going to get that all that light darkened and blended in and then come in with my rubber again and then use my, um, also I will be using my kneaded rubber which is the, the rubber, putty rubber which is just that you can um, put into whatever um, shape you want and take out bits so like, like I can see at the side here it needs quite a bit coming out so I can take it out of there like that and underneath here I can take it out of the ear as well with my potty rubber and then maybe put some like fur dots in with this just take it out 
because I know it's light here, definitely lighter here as it comes up his nose and down into this bit here for some reason. <laughs> Weirdly enough, and there's a bit of light here as well. So I know that they are there. So then I just get my soft brush again and then go back over and just blend them back over again. And then I'll probably come back in now and uh, use my Tombow Mono Eraser and make them more pronounced um, so that you can see them bits that I've just took out a little bit more. Mm, I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> it's like I'll leave you. Right, I just put, I'll just come in with my tambour mono and take these bits out again. Just as, like, first strokes, like they do actually look on the picture. I know you can't see this bit on that piece of paper I put it aside. But no, it's light here, so I'm going to take that back out again. And just keep doing that until you blended it all and played around with it and. And then just keep it, it pull it out real lightly. I know it's still dark in that bit, so I'm going to leave that bit in there a little bit more. But I'll pull this out. Take that bit out from the eye again. I'll go back around that again because it still needs to be darker, so does that. Inside his eye there is really white, so that's going to have to be um, done with um, gel pen because it is really white. That's a highlight. <laughs> but yeah. so um, yeah, see if I can lift it up off my table for you yeah, and bring it towards you so you can actually see it a bit closer without it not zooming without it going out of focus is that right? You can see where I've gone with my Tombow Mono, you can see where I've gone with my Blender, you can see where, and this is only the undercoat, obviously there's a lot more to go on there yet, because he's um, quite a dark horse, that, that bit is quite dark, especially underneath the saddle bit at the top. So anyway, if you have a look at my Facebook group, you will, in a couple of days, you will see the finished product of this horse. So uh, yeah. Thanks for watching guys, um, I really do hope something in this helped you and like I say, if you would like me to um, do some full um, portrait, some full, um, just, just some full graphite drawings then yeah just let me know in the comments below and then um, see what we can do anyway thank you again from Dee Dee's art from me myself Dee Dee for um watching please hit subscribe and hit the like button click thumbs up if you like as well okay thanks guys see you later take care bye